What's going on everyone? Welcome back to this YouTube channel. Today in this video, I'm going to show you how to download and set up MySQL Workbench on your Mac. To get started, go to this website dev.mysql.com. Once you are here, go to this download section. In here, scroll down till you see MySQL Community Download. Click here. And from this list, choose MySQL Workbench. And here you will have two options. The first one is for x86 or the Intel chipsets. The second one is for the Apple chipset since I'm on MacBook M1. So I'm going to choose the second one. If you also have M1 or M2, then go for the second option. So I'm just going to click here, download. Now here we can log in or sign up, but I don't want to do that. I'm just going to no thanks. And as you can see, the download has begun, but uh, I have already downloaded the file. So I'm just going to click here. That is a fairly simple process. You need to drag this MySQL Workbench and paste it in the applications. You can see it's copying now. After this is done, let's close this. Go to Launchpad, search for MySQL. You can see we have the MySQL Workbench here. Open it up. Click on Open. Now the MySQL Workbench is successfully installed on our Mac. Now, if you want to connect to your database server, you should have a server running on your Mac. I have already showed you how you can run a MySQL server on your Mac in the previous video. If you haven't watched that, go ahead and check it out. It's a fairly simple process to get up and running on your Mac. Once you do that, what you can do is you can simply go to your system settings and you'll find an option like this, which says MySQL. Click here. And if you see this thing uh, green, it means that the server is running on your local host. You need to come back to your MySQL workbench, click here, click add. Let's name this YouTube. And the host name is going to be the local host, which is 127.0.0.1. Port is fine, 3306, username is root. And the password is the password that you set in your MySQL server. For me, it was root1234. And when I click OK, click OK, go to this YouTube connection. You can see if I click on server status, it is running. And if I go to the query and say show databases and run this query, you can see I have all the databases listed out. So this means that the connection was successful. So yeah, this is it. This is how you can set up MySQL Workbench on your Mac. If you have any questions, do let me know in the comment section. I will try my best to answer all of them for you yeah if it worked for you then you owe me a like and a subscribe please do that i'll see you in the next one till then peace out